Welcome. In this video, we're going to play around with just adjusting paths. But I want you to understand that you can adjust the um, horizontal width using the width tool, right? Where you adjust the thickness like that. But you can also adjust them this way as well. And the end has one you can pull. So what I want you to do is try and pull that end one out. I don't know if you can see that there. I'm grabbing right in the center on the end width and I'm pulling that out right you can uh, adjust this all sorts of ways I don't know if you can see this but I can make it fatten up like that so this is like one line here still I'm just playing with and you can then pull it back down you can even make oh shoot it's like a swordfish or something I don't know and the I want you to basically see what types of shapes you can pull off on this design where you get an interesting line. Now once you create an inter interesting line that you think is going to, I don't know, serve you well, it's not too hard to take that and save that particular set like a preset. What you do is you just come up to this little menu here and you click add to profile. And we'll call this um, um, fish wiggle I don't know sure well now if I were to zoom out here I'm gonna just draw some other paths here Whoop! there's a path and I'm just gonna go down and choose that one there from the bottom so when you do that right you have to I'm sorry you have to actually click on it and you get that profile but right now I'm only one point make yours wider and watch what you get you start to get that width that was happening on this one and it's the same exact thing now the neat thing about this is is that you can create your own custom uh, shapes that go along the path if you will uh, unlike when you trace a path in Photoshop where it creates a raster based graphic it's making an, a vector based graphic on top of your line so this is completely changeable I can go back to this line click on it I can use my direct selection tool to adjust any of these parameters. I can click this middle guy, move him around, make him wiggle the other way, and it's still working. I can uh, also adjust the size of this after the fact. So you can click on it and say, no, I don't want him so fat. I can make him skinnier, you know, whatever I need. Okay, so all those things are changeable on the fly because this is a vector path or vector um width profile if you want but it's on top of a path that's vectored too so you can end up uh, changing it at any point so what I want you to do is see how crazy you can make a path using the width tool I just want you to go nuts on it alright and stick to that width tool and see if you can create something really cool I can't wait to see what some of my uh, graphic uh, anime artists are gonna come up with after knowing how to use this one. Alright, that's it.